Hey, how are you? Hope everything's going well. It is a uh, Wednesday night. It's Wednesday night at 10:46 p.m. here on Eastern Time, Central Florida time, <laughs> vacation spot of the world time. <laughs> Central Florida, what's up? We're in Florida. It's beautiful here. It's awesome weather today too. Uh, cooler weather, not cold to us. I mean, 70s kind of running weather. Totally cool. All right, I'm gonna read from uh, Joel Osteen's book, The Power of. Favor, the power of favor. It is titled The Location Doesn't Determine the Blessing. God loves you. He loves you. He loves you. All right. He is for you and not against you. And tell him that you love him. You love him. You love him. And thank you. And thank you. And thank you. Say it three times. It's pretty important. All right. And you start to become natural. It's just repetition, just like working out sets and reps. All right, you gotta work all that stuff. You gotta work the grace. You gotta work the forgiveness, big time. You gotta work the mercy. You gotta work the I love yous. You gotta work the thank yous and the gratitudes. And the more you do repetitions and sets of that, the better you'll get at it. And then uh, it's pretty awesome stuff. So it's just practice, practice, all right? Get rid of the junk exercises, too. <laughs> so cool. Uh, here we go. All right, your location doesn't determine your blessing. Right here, right now, right? Anytime, anytime. And blessings come in uh, different shapes, sizes, forms, through different people, all right, speaking over your life. It's pretty awesome. You never know who God will use. Sometimes you're for them, but sometimes they're for you, all right? Because uh, God's got an awesome plan and purpose for our life. He's got a will for our life. A good, a good will for our life. Jeremiah 29, 11 says that. He has a good plan and purpose for our life. All right? Plans to not harm us. All right? Not harm us at all. Uh, so anything that is evil or bad, that is not good, is not from God. All right? It is not. So be able to recognize that. The sooner you can recognize that the sooner you'll know how to fight that. And the only way you can really fight that is with God and through the Word of God, all right? The Word of God, all right? Enemy hates that stuff, so stay focused, all right? Cool. Your location doesn't determine your blessing. This will be exciting. I know it will. Here we go. In the scripture, when Abraham moved to a new country with his family, his nephew Lot, and all of his flocks and herds, he found a beautiful piece of land with luscious green pastures and peaceful ponds. It looked like a postcard. But after a few months, he realized the land couldn't sustain all the flocks and herds. He told Lot to choose where he wanted to live with his flocks and herds, and Abraham would take his and go elsewhere. Lot said he wanted to stay right here, in the best part of the land. Instead of arguing, Abraham took the high road and moved to a different part of the country. But this time, all he could find was land that was dry and barren. Instead of lush, beautiful green pastures, it was more like the desert, with rocks and sand and very little water. In the natural, Abraham should have struggled. He should have seen his crops dry up and his business go down to nothing. But it was just the opposite. Hardly any time passed before his flocks and herds multiplied so much, and that dry, barren land had turned into a beautiful oasis. In fact, the scripture speaks of how he had so so much that he became one of the wealthiest men of that time. As with Abraham, even if you're in the desert, because of the distinction God put on your life, you're still going to flourish. Your location doesn't determine your blessing. What God put on you determines the blessing. When he called you out, he marked you for favor. Wherever you go, the blessing goes. You might not have the perfect job, People might not be treating you right, and you might not be getting the credit you deserve. That's okay. Because you're not working unto people. You're working unto God. People don't determine your destiny. Destiny, God does. Keep being your best, honoring God. And with Joseph, God will cause... <laughs> and as with Joseph, God will cause you to be noticed. He'll cause you to stand up. Potiphar will come looking for you. At the right time, God will either turn that around by promoting you or he'll move you somewhere else. Hmm. 
But the key is not to think that you can wait until you're out of the desert and then you're going to have a good attitude. Then you're going to start being your best. There's something on you right now that will cause you to prosper in the middle of the desert. Lot wasn't making good decisions. He wasn't honoring God. He was blessed as long as Abraham was there. But when Abraham left, the blessing left. Lot's fields dried up. His flocks went down to nothing. He ended up leaving that place. Eventually, Abraham had to go and rescue him and his family. As with Lot, there are people whom God put into your life right now who are being blessed because of you. They may never realize it. They may never tell you thank you. Don't worry, because God is keeping the records. Those are seeds that you're sowing. He'll make sure you are blessed in a greater way. Back then, they would even pray to the God of Abraham. When they saw how blessed Abraham was, how he flourished, even in the desert, they thought, if we can get to his God, maybe we'll be blessed. God wants to put such a distinction on you. He wants you to stand out in such a way that people want what you have. They'll say, I'm going to pray to the God of those people at Lakewood. I'm going to pray to the God of Robert, to the God of Susan, to the God of Maria. Look at how blessed she is. So faithful, so generous, so talented. If I can get to her God, I believe I can be blessed. Wow. Your location doesn't determine your blessing. I always like to say God comes after you. He's in full pursuit. In some cases, he waits on us. He waits on us, our hearts to turn, to open up to him, to God. I mean, he'll use a bunch of things to try to get our attention. But for a lot of us, he was in a full all-out pursuit of us. And he was always there with us. We just had to surrender. It's crazy. He was always available. All we had to ever do was just say, okay, I'm done. I surrender. I don't want to do it my way anymore. I want to do it your way. And what the Word of God says and what the Holy Spirit will lead me to do. Uh, yeah, cool. Awesome. Good. All right, y'all. Make sure to pray for your friends, families, and co-workers. There's a few special prayers that we're going to do tonight. I'm not going to put it over this, but I, I for sure will. When you pray for other people before yourself, uh, they will get the blessing. The prayers will be answered, but your miracle will happen. All right, so pray for them. Put others before yourself. Jesus came here to serve. I came here to serve. Jesus came here to love and to show what love was. We should be the same way. All right, God is love. <laughs> As I told you earlier, remember to repeat, I love you, I love you, I love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right? Remember, it's so important. Pray to your Heavenly Father, your Papa, your Abba. Tell Him how much you love Him and how grateful for you, are, you are for everything that He's done for you. Even when you weren't, weren't paying attention to Him and you had other things going off, He still loved you and He was looking after you and pursuing you. All right? He's just, uh, He's always been there and He's always loved you. All right? Cool. Remember to pray. Read the Word of God. Just a little bit, something here and there. Keep that worship music on. Where, where light is, darkness has to flee. That's in the Bible. The devil hates the Word of God. He hates God, and he wants to destroy us. He wants to kill us. All right, because God has that awesome plan and purpose for us. Uh, the more we spread the good news, the gospel, uh, the less evil is going to exist. That's just the way it is. So we have to be obedient and do our job. All right. Love you. Remember to pray. Be in the Word of God. Share this with the friends if you want to. They need to hear this stuff. A lot of times, this is just for me and you. This is just for me. So I'll listen to it again. I'll be like, nice. That's right. Cool. Love you. See you. Bye.